Do you want to be able to collect more data from your visitors through your contact forms? Do you want to have more flexibility in how you create your contact form 7 forms? If so, then radio buttons could be the answer. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to add them to your contact form 7 forms and all the options that they give you. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Here are the radio buttons that I've set up for this tutorial. The first one is the default. This is how it adds it to the page without any changes aside from adding the actual options. In this case, up, down, left, right. If I click on the labels, as in the words, it checks the radio button. If I click on the radio button itself, it does it. And radio buttons by default only allow one selection. That's why you can only select one. Next one, your favorite direction, is the same as the one above, only the labels are put in front of the radio boxes, but the same functionality. And this last one, the radio buttons, or the labels of the radio buttons cannot be clicked. Only the radio buttons can. And you notice the third one is selected by default. We can define which one is selected by default. And Bob's your uncle. There's your radio buttons. Inside the form builder, how you make this happen. Move your cursor to a place where you want the radio button to, to be entered. Click on the radio buttons button. There is no required field because radio buttons have to be selected. Something has to be picked. So there is no required or not. There has to be something. That's why it auto selects an option for you. Added four options here, red, green, blue, yellow, all on their own line. If I check this box, it puts the label in front, which is this one here. Words first, radio box second. If I check this box here, or uncheck it, I mean, this makes it so you can't click the words just like this option or this version down here. And that's it, that's it for the settings. Click on insert tag and it puts it right in there. If you want a description of what it's about, like how many dimensions do you live in, you want text like that above your radio buttons, you have to add a label. You wanna have the label opening tag, your text and the label closing tag all on the same line. I point that out because by default, you'd normally wrap the field with the label. The opening labels here, our actual label text is here, the short code, code for the field is here, and then the label closing tag is here. That's the default behavior for most fields for checkboxes and radio buttons and maybe some others, I'm not sure. I don't recall off the top of my head. You have to have the label separately. Save that when you're done. Then we go to the mail tab. And we have all these radio buttons that we need to add to our email field because I haven't added any of these yet. So let's just copy all of them in one fell swoop, paste them in. And that gives our radio button results all in one line, all mashed up, which is not how you'd want to do it. You probably want to say something like something relevant to what the options are. Up is uh, your favorite direction. direction. How many dimensions do you live in? And then the last one, I forgot what it was already. Didn't really change that. Favorite color for the last one. Every time I make changes here, we have to, we have to save them. Otherwise they could be lost. Favorite color. All right. Safe. One last thing that I forgot to point out. The default is by default set to number one. And that means the first one's always going to be selected. In that third one, when the third one was selected, that's because I set the default to three. If I set the default to two, then the second one's going to be selected. So let's refresh out here. The first two are the first option. This one's the third. This one's the second. So those are the defaults. If we fill out this form and send the email, we'll see how this looks in the email that you receive. And while this email is being sent, this is a great time to hit the like button if you find value in this video and click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. And here's the email and there are the radio button answers filled in to the email. And if you want to get a hold of my super popular 17 point WordPress launch checklist that's been downloaded over 100,000 times, over the years, there's a link to it in the description down below. It's gonna help you flawlessly launch every one of your WordPress sites from now on. So check that out, it's totally free. There's a link in the description. Next up, check out this video right here because it's the next video in this Contact Form 7 series. 
or check out the full Contact Form 7 series playlist down here so you can skip to any video that you want. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.